The line that Soldier 76 has that says Smells like victory is a reference to a line spoken in the movie Apocalypse Now. Similarly, Soldier 76 has another line where he says I love the smell of pulse munitions in the morning. Which is a reference to Lieutenant Colonel Bill Kilgore's famous line from Apocalypse Now, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Reaper has a voice effect which says If it lives, I can kill it. Which is a reference to Arnold Schwarzenegger's line from Predator. May's line that says You have to let it go is a direct reference to Let It Go from Disney's Frozen. When Winston says Don't get me angry He's likely referencing the Incredible Hulk, because both of them transform when they get angry. Winston also has a line that says Houston, uh, we have a problem. Which is a famous line from the Apollo mission. Torbjorn has a line that says I'm giving it all I've got! And this is likely a twist on a quote from Scotty in Star Trek. When Zarya says I will break you She is referencing a line by Ivan Drago in Rocky IV. McCree has many voice lines which are quotes from classic westerns, such as I'm not good, not bad, but I sure as hell ain't ugly. I'm your huckleberry. Reach for the sky. In the spawn area for Hollywood, there is a movie poster that reads Some Like It Bot, which is a twist on the movie Some Like It Hot, or a reference to the video game high school series where the law falls in love with Shotbot. When Winston respawns, he sometimes says Once more unto the breach Which is a reference to Shakespeare's play King Henry Reaper has a quote which says I'm not a psychopath I'm a high functioning psychopath And this is a reference to Sherlock when he says I'm not a psychopath Anderson, I'm a high functioning sociopath Bastion has an emote called Alert Alert, which is a reference to the movie The Iron Giant. Hanzo has a voice line where he says, I choose you, Spirit Dragon, which is an obvious reference to the iconic line spoken in the Pokemon franchise. The arcade in Hanamura has many different arcade cabinets, most of which are references to other Blizzard games. Fighters of the Storm is a reference to Heroes of the Storm. Super Siege Mode 3 is a reference to both Metal Slug and StarCraft. The Lost Vikings 6 is a reference to Blizzard's old series of games called The Lost Vikings. Soulstone Demon Slayer features the protagonist from Diablo 3. On one of the soda dispensers, a murloc from World of Warcraft can be seen. Above the arcade entrance, there is a large 16-bit photo of Jim Raynor from StarCraft. Above the noodle shop on Hanamura, there is a large murloc statue that actually makes murloc noises when you shoot it. On the temple of Anubis, there is a large murloc painting on the side of the attacker's vehicle. Inside the attacker's vehicle on the temple of Anubis, there is a tablet with hearthstone being played on it. On the wall of the vehicle, there is also a Zerg skull from StarCraft. Amongst the symbols around the Temple of Anubis, the Horde symbol from Warcraft can be seen. The lockers in Watchpoint Gibraltar feature the names of some of the developers. In Hollywood, there are various references to Goldshire, which is a popular town in World of Warcraft. Also in Hollywood, the Alliance symbol from World of Warcraft can be seen around the map. There is also a second tablet playing Hearthstone, which can also be found in Hollywood. On the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, there are three names which are references to three characters from the Lost Vikings. In the attacker's spawn area, there is a poster that reads Hero of My Storm, which is an obvious reference to Blizzard's Heroes of The Storm. At one point in Hollywood, a trailer can be found, with the name Tyrael written on the side, which is a reference to the iconic character from Diablo. On the map Dorado, there are various piñatas shaped like Diablo. The map Elios also features a tablet playing Hearthstone. I think I'm seeing a popular theme here. On the store countertops in Elios, you will find Merkbait, 
which is likely a reference to the Murlocs from World of Warcraft. In the restaurant on Route 66, you'll find a check signed by Deckard Cain from Diablo. On the restaurant's counter, you'll find a comic entitled Craft from the Stars, which is a play on for Starcraft. On the soda fountain in the restaurant, you can find a Zerg symbol from Starcraft, and you can also find a beverage called Dr. Boom, which is a reference to the NPC from World of Warcraft. Yeah, I bet you were expecting me to say the Hearthstone card. In one of Roadhog's sprays, there is a reference to the pigs in Angry Birds. Farrah's voice line Rocket jump? That sounds dangerous. is a reference to the popular technique used in other first-person shooters, such as Quake and Team Fortress 2. Lucio's voice line you gotta believe. is a reference to the line frequently spoken in the Parappa video game series. Farrah's voice line Play nice, play Farrah is a reference to Blizzard's popular quote, play nice, play fair. When Torbjorn says Completion date. <laughs> then it's done. He is actually referring to Blizzard's methods when setting release dates for games, because they don't set them until late into development. Diva says many different pieces of gamer lingo, such as <sighs> AFK. <laughs> GG. Is this easy mode? And even her Ultima, where she says Nerf this. Hanzo's voice lines flow like water. From one thing, no ten thousand things. Are actually quotes from the Book of Five Rings by Miyatomo Musashi. Farah's line, Fly like an Egyptian, is a reference to the song by the Bangles, Walk like an Egyptian. Reaper's voice line, I'm back in black, is an obvious reference to the song Back in Black by ACDC. Farrah's voice line where she says Flying the friendly skies is a reference to the famous tagline used by United Airlines. Tracer has a quote which says Keep calm and tracer on which is a reference to the carry-on poster designed during World War II. When Zarya says In Russia, game plays you she is referencing the popular meme popularised by comedian Yakov Smirnov in the 1980s. That's it for this list guys, if you have any recommendations for a future video, then let me hear them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.